Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina tonight. I wanted to show you this. It's halfway done. I'll probably finish it up tomorrow. Um, this looks like a kind of an odd looking doghouse or something, but what it actually is, is it is the battery box and uh, charge controller and inverter. This is where all that stuff's going to live for the solar setup. So the battery over there, which I did a video on before, uh, that's a... Uh, 24 volt, I think it's what, 5.7 kilowatt hours. So I'm gonna put two of them in here eventually, but I'll get a little closer here and show you. So my idea here is there'll be one here for right now, and then eventually I'll put another one there. They're gonna get linked to this back wall here. We'll have the charge controller and the inverter box there. And this front right here, that'll be the door. So um, that'll be the whole thing. The whole thing is, you know, got a nice slanted roof on there. I've got some leftover material I'm gonna be putting on there. And that is uh, going to slide up underneath the array. So the array is built and up, and I've just been trying to get this done. So I'm going to be putting exterior paneling on that, interior paneling on the inside, and in between, I've got some leftover insulation from another job. And uh, that's the idea. I am worried, and perhaps some of you folks out there who are uh, you know, more savvy about this stuff than me could help me out. I know that uh, lithium ion, these LifePo or whatever they're called, they're not supposed to be charged below freezing, and I'm trying to figure out how exactly to deal with that since we spend a good third of the year below freezing. I have no way of heating this box, so I don't know what to do about that. So I'd love your advice there. If you have it for me, help me out with that. Uh, this is the inverter box that I picked up for tier sine wave. It's a 2000 watt regular uh, 4000 watt surge, enough to run a microwave if necessary, but uh, really 2000 watts, I don't know. That's about all I really want to run off of this system. And then over here, we have our charge controller. Uh, this is a 60 amp charge controller. It's capable of holding uh, 1800 watts. And the system I built is uh, was going to be 16, but it ended up being 1200 watts for right now. And of course, I'm going to you know double this every couple of years as money comes available. But I'm going to be installing both of those inside the the doghouse, the little <laughs> the little house that I built for it. So. Uh, yeah, there it is. That's what I've been up to. I haven't done a lot of updates on the solar panel because it's really been, it's kind of a bummer, but here's how the situation works in this world. Um, you know, I want to be able to get this thing done in a weekend and get it all up and running, but with other things going on in life, you know, with, with the spring and summer here, it's now summertime and having to deal with farming and animals and, uh, you know, I do still work part time on top of having my own business. So it's just a lot going on. So this thing is kind of got to whittle away at it when I have the time. But I have been working. The, getting the paneling up was a big deal and getting it all wired up properly. So we're ready there. So it's, it's time. I would say before the end of July, I'll be finally banking power. And I think we started this mess in April. So that is, and I actually had 99 or 95% of the stuff I needed to make this happen in April. So it's been a real pain that uh, it's taken so long to get it done, but it is what it is. It's, it's the way life works sometimes. Anyway, that's it for part, I think three, four, part four of the solar update. I would say part five will be fully assembled and uh, part six will do some tests, you know, power output tests, stuff like that. So if you like this video, perhaps you'll think about liking and subscribing. I'll see you next time. Take care.